Hi there, I'm Mr. Brown. I'm the principal of East Aurora Middle School, and I would like to welcome you to fifth grade. Typically, at the end of fourth grade, as you're concluding, we have what we call a buddy day, when all of the fourth graders from Parkdale walk over to the middle school, and you get to meet me, and you get to meet your teachers, and you go for a tour of the school, and we just answer a lot of the questions that you have. Unfortunately, due to the times and the circumstances, we can't do that right now. So what your teachers and I did is we just put together a little video for you, a few things we're going to explain. I'd like for you to still have the opportunity to meet them in this type of setting. And we're also going to take a quick virtual tour of the building today. I have to tell you, I was looking through the lists of your names of next year's fifth grade class at East Shore Middle School, and I remember so many of you from when you were in kindergarten, and I was the assistant principal at Parkdale at the time. I saw a lot of last names that I recognized. A lot of your older brothers and sisters have been here through the middle school, and you come from incredible families, and I can't wait to meet you as well. So again, this morning, what we're going to do is just take a little walk. It might be a little wobbly because I'm not a professional cameraman. And just a few things that we want to explain about the school. The one thing I do want to tell you though, before school starts in September, we will have an opportunity for you to come in. We will have an opportunity for your parents to come in and meet with me and ask all the questions that they have. The one thing I can tell you about the middle school is you are going to love it. There's a lot of opportunities here. There's a lot more freedoms here. You don't walk in, in the hallways with classes. You, you, you're a lot more independent. But with a lot of those opportunities and freedoms of, of clubs and all of those things, it also comes responsibility. And that's one thing that I really want you to work on this summer is just being a more responsible young man or woman at home. Um, because the more you practice that now, the easier the transition will be. But we are excited to have you. I can't wait to get started with you. And at this time, we're just going to kind of walk around the school. And I'm going to show you a few things. When you first walk into the middle school, this is what you see. Only when you come, it won't be so dark and there'll be a lot more people here. That's our logo. When you walk in, though, you'll notice that the main office is right here. The main office is a very welcoming place. Mrs. Gervasi and Mrs. Christie are usually sitting at that desk and they're here to help you in any way that you need. And opposite of the office is our cafeteria. Yes, we do have a vending machine. Our cafeteria again looks a little dark right now and the tables are set up for us to get all of our supplies back from our current students. So the cafeteria won't be set up this way It'll be a little bit more welcoming. We have many more of those round tables so you can sit with friends. But our cafeteria, you eat with all of your friends. And after you show us that you can, can handle sitting wherever you'd like, we let you sit with any friend you'd like at lunch. When you walk by or drive by the middle school, you may think to yourself, that place is huge. I'm definitely gonna get lost. That's not the case. The way we have it designed, our fifth graders have all of their classrooms on the second floor, for the most part. Once in a while, you have to venture to other areas of the building, but you're in a hallway that looks just like this. This is actually the sixth grade hallway directly above the second floor. And the reason why I'm showing you this is your fifth grade classrooms are emptied right now to wax the floors. But you will notice there are six classrooms, and this is where you will have math, science, social studies, English, and reading. You'll notice that all of these doors are very close to each other, all of these classrooms. This is also where your homeroom will be. And you'll notice all of the lockers are in nice rows right near these classrooms. So this is where a hallway just like this, a little messy down there, I know, that'll be cleaned up by the time school starts. But a hallway just like this is where you're going to be spending most of your day. So although the middle school looks huge on the outside, once you're inside, you'll know exactly where to go and it won't be that hard. I am now on the second floor. Down that hallway is where all of the fifth grade classrooms will be that I was just explaining. I just can't get around that corner because they're waxing floors. 
I wanted to show you how close you are to two of the most important rooms in the building. The first one is our counseling suite. Our counseling center or counseling suite is a place that we want you to come. We want you to feel comfortable here. If you have any issues with your locker, maybe it's jammed, this is a place you might come if no teacher's available. If you're having any problems with friends or you just need some advice, maybe you just need a piece of candy, you can come here anytime to see Mrs. Cole and Mrs. Wardabender. We also have two comfort dogs. No, that's not one of them. Our two comfort dogs are Nala and Macaulay, and they are labs. They're each here about one day a week, and you can come down to visit them, to pet them, or to play with them if you'd like. They are huge supporters of East Aurora Middle School. And as I left that counseling center, right across the hallway, sorry, you're probably dizzy by now, is the health office. And the health office is obviously a place where you're going to come for a lot of different reasons, but maybe if you're not feeling very well. Again, it doesn't look like this during the school year, but there's a little waiting room and some beds are in there. And our nurse, Mrs. Daigler, is as kind as they get. I know how awesome Mrs. Tadaro is, and Mrs. Daigler will treat you with the same respect and kindness. And if you have any allergies, she will be here to make sure that everything's okay. We know how many of you love to play your instruments and sing. Music is a huge part of East Aurora Middle School. This is our very own band room. This was redone just a couple of years ago, and it's beautiful. There's great storage for your instruments and great places for you to practice. We actually have two orchestra rooms. This is the room where you'll have most of your lessons if you're in orchestra. And right next door, this is where you'll have orchestra practice. Look at all those trophies. As I'm giving this tour, I looked outside and look what I saw, a fawn. Even the deer wants to come to the middle school. One of the classes you will take is phys ed. And one of the units in phys ed is a swimming unit. We do have our very own pool here that you will spend approximately six weeks of a phys ed unit in this pool each year that you're at the middle school. I hope you enjoyed the brief tour that I gave you. Obviously, there's way more to show than that. Uh, we have tech classrooms, computers, 3D printers, um, fax, which has kitchen set up. Um, we have health classes, you have business classes, art, all kinds of different things, our incredible library. But I wanted to save some of those things for when you are here and actually here to physically see the building. I wanted to let you know that you will have a lot of these different classes and experiences, even, even the opportunity to speak a foreign language. Not all of those things will happen in fifth grade, but throughout your middle school experience, you will have the opportunity to take all of those classes. At this time, your fifth grade teachers next year sent a little message that they would like to deliver to you. Hi. I'm Mrs. Arndt, and I'm going to be your English teacher next year. Now, if you don't like to write, then this is the class for you, because I'm going to teach you how to write an awesome paragraph, and we're going to do lots of writing, but about fun things. You even get to write a research report at the end of the year about a rainforest animal that you get to choose. So, now something about me. I'm a grandmother. I'm an animal lover. So you'll be hearing stories from me about my granddaughters and about my silly dogs. And I can't wait to meet all of you. Hi, everyone. I'm Miss Kavanaugh, and I'm one of the special education teachers at the Eastora Middle School. And I think I have a pretty fun job because I get to push into a lot of the core classes that you're going to be um, in next year. So I thought I would give you a little inside scoop about some of your teachers. I'm going to start with Mr. Downs. Sadly, he's a Cleveland Browns fan. <laughs> Mr. Edholm, he's your guy to go to if you have any baseball questions. If hockey is your thing, go see Mrs. Johnson. She's our hockey mom. Mrs. Arndt, she loves to quilt. And as she says, you'll get to meet Fritz, her dog, on Groundhog's Day. This is a hockey. You never know what's going to be happening in her classroom because she's got some costume or something to get you excited about reading. She's what we call a word nerd, but don't worry. That's not a bad thing. 
She gets wild about words. Last, certainly not least, is Mrs. Zach. She's your science teacher. But on Friday, bring your dancing shoes because she likes to play one of her favorite songs to get you excited about the weekend. As for me, you'll see me going from class to class, always with my coffee mug, and I may just teach you a few things about mindfulness and yoga to get you eased into fifth grade. So we're excited to get to meet you, and we hope you have a great summer vacation. Hi, friends. I'm Mrs. Saihaki, and I will be your reading teacher in fifth grade in September. And I'm excited to meet all of you, and I actually have some interesting plans for us once you arrive at the middle school. Most importantly, my job will be to help you, inspire you, and invite you to be the best readers you can be. And without knowing it, you're actually going to fall in love in fifth grade. Now, not with a classmate, of course. Oh, no. You will be falling in love with new words that you have never met before. And the fifth graders this year, they actually fell in love 100 times. They fell in love with 100 new vocabulary words. And I am hoping that you can beat that number. Now, um, what does it feel like to fall in love with a word you've never met before? It feels, and if you cannot pronounce this, I will help you, it is pulchritudinous. And what does pulchritudinous really mean? Well, you get this overwhelming feeling of feeling that words are beautiful and they're charming and they're dazzling and it's such an exciting experience. So here are some synonyms for Paul Kratutinitz and I'd love for you to try using that word in conversation with someone and hopefully that will be me in September. So we're gonna have an amazing year together. Enjoy the summer and school will be here before we know it. Take care. Hello, future fifth graders. My name is Mr. Downs. I am one of the fifth grade math teachers at the middle school. You will also see Mrs. Johnson, who currently isn't here. But she is another fifth grade teacher for math as well. I wanted to welcome all of you to the middle school next year. We are all very excited to see you in the fall. And then also, we really want you to just relax and have a great summer and can't wait to see you in the fall, hopefully face to face. Once again, congratulations on finishing fourth grade and graduating from Parkdale. That is quite an honor. We can't wait to see you once again in the fall. Take care, have fun. Hi boys and girls, my name is Mr. Edholm. I'll be teaching you social studies next year. Um, I hope that you had some good social studies practice in third and fourth grade. Uh, so that we can uh, just keep on moving right along in fifth grade. Have a wonderful summer. I can't wait to meet you. And here's the book that you'll be receiving from me. The good news is it only weighs about 47 pounds. Um, it's fit in your backpack quite nicely. And I'll only be sending it home with you probably 170 out of 180 days next year. So I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Have a great summer. Can't wait to meet you. Hello, almost fifth graders. My name is Mrs. Cook, and that's Cook with a K, just like someone you may know in fourth grade, a sweet little boy named Jonah Cook. So um, I, like Miss Kavanaugh, um, am a special education teacher, so you might see me in and out of some of your classes, and we'll be there to help you keep on track and stay organized. One of the things you may remember from fourth grade looks a little bit something like this. This is your planner. Um, yours probably looked a little bit different, but this is a really important part of fifth grade and staying organized. So we will help you with that. Um, don't worry. I also want to tell you that I am a student council advisor, and we are hoping that many of you will consider joining the student council, especially if you are a student leader and you want to look to make great changes in your school and your school community. So we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Hi, my name is Mrs. Alexi, and I'm the speech therapist at the middle school. I am looking forward to seeing so many, well, all of you next year, and 
some of you, I will be coming into your classrooms and seeing you in small groups. And I really look forward to getting to know you. I hope you have a wonderful summer. Congratulations on moving up from Parkdale and I'll see you in the fall. Welcome to the middle school. I'm Mrs. Schaller. Some of you know me from Parkdale, either in your class or sharing snakes, lizards, birds, and porcupine quills. I wear many hats, which means I'm a special education teacher and you never know what I might be teaching or where. If you see me at the middle school, just wave and smile. You did it. You're a middle schooler now. Great job. Hi guys, last but not least, I'm Mrs. Zakrzemski. Everybody pretty, pretty much calls me Mrs. Zach. I'm gonna be your science teacher next year. I hope a lot of you guys are interested in science. We have a lot of really great units next year. A lot about the environment. We do simple machines where you make your own invention. We learn a lot about space and a lot of other um, really interesting topics. We have a lot of experiments that we do. So I'm really looking forward to meeting you guys and um, I just wanted to introduce you to our class pet, who's right next to me here. This is Darwin. He, she, sorry, sorry, Darwin. She is a Russian tortoise, and um, she's in our classroom every day, and I think you'll like her. She's kind of quiet, but she's a good one. All right, it was nice uh, talking to you guys, and we all are very much looking forward to seeing you next September. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you, fifth grade teachers, for your little message to our students. Um, at this point, I do have one more thing that I'd like to share with you. We have some of our eighth grade students participate in what we call the LEAP program. And you'll have that opportunity to do that as well when you're in eighth grade. Um, but they put together a few students that are currently in eighth grade, now leaving for our high school, but they put together just a few words for you um, of some advice and, and things like that that we'd like to include at this time. Hi everyone, my name's Laura and I wanna tell you about my great experience at East Aurora Middle School. The thing that I love about the middle school so much is how much opportunity there is. There's so much opportunity just going through the school day in all your different classes. You can find out things that you truly love. And after school, there's so much opportunity in the clubs and after school activities for you to make new friends and you can find out things that you're passionate about. Hello, my name is Anna Walker and I'm currently graduating from East Aurora Middle School this year. To all the fourth graders that are watching this, please don't be scared of middle school. And just so you know, high school is not that far away. Not to scare you or anything, but just take as many chances as you can. Join the modified sports. There are so many modified sports that I can't even think of. And join as many clubs as you can because that's gonna really help you and have you learn a lot more. Well, fifth graders, hope you have an incredible summer. I hope this video helped you feel a little bit more comfortable about coming to the middle school. Again, please know when we're able to, we will have you here before school starts. We'll let you practice your locker. We'll let you get in and walk your schedule and have you here to meet everyone. And we promise you the first few days of school, when that happens, we will have orientations. We'll walk you around. We'll help you, help you, help you. We're here to support you. But if you do have any questions over the summer, anything you're wondering, anything parents that you're wondering, please don't ever hesitate to email me. I will make sure to respond to you and we want to be on the same page here in the same team. Um, we are very excited about the opportunities we have here at the middle school. And I really hope, really hope that you're excited to be here because we are excited to have you. Have a good day.